For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to At Wars Outdoors with me, Mike. Today I'm giving you guys a bit of a review video on this sort of updated model for the 2021 season with Van Gogh. So this here is the Cove 2 Low. So the Cove Low essentially is a model that's been around for a few years now and it's been certainly a favourite amongst those. It in many ways almost kind of took over from the Galley Compact uh, and it's come with what it's based on really, but the difference being is it's probably a much, much keener price point. And in comparison, sort of going from sort of 2020 to 2021 onwards, the Cove has got quite a lot more features built into it. So, and the price points remain the same. So the joys is means that you get more for your money, which no one doesn't mind at all. Very quick and easy to put up, obviously being inflatable. So one person like myself can pitch this model in about sort of eight or nine minutes, as you can see from our own at walls pitching and packing videos. So the joys means it's brilliant for a weekend for touring, or if you want to stay a bit longer, you've kind of got a bit more room. Again, being quick and easy means that um, it doesn't matter if, if you want to sort of kind of have it for just a sort of a day use or you can in theory use it as a tent on its own by rolling the tunnel back as you would if you were to drive away. So a few things for 2021 season to bear in mind, obviously a colour change. So we've got a much more darker grey now. I think it looks a bit more premium and certainly the red sort of uh, edging and sort of guy ropes, I think just helps to lift it. And sort of, well, I think to be fair, as it's pitched now, it looks really, really smart. Again, what you've also benefited is going forward, they've got, got a sewn-in ground sheet. Previously, it was a toggling ground sheet. So having a sewn-in ground sheet is almost getting back to that galley compact kind of sort of, well, essence really. More sealed, and because you've got obviously rain safe doorway at the front with a nice big canopy, and obviously the uh, tunnel section as well, it means that you haven't got to worry about sort of taking mucky, muddy shoes anywhere. You can happily leave it in the front here, or on a nice day like today, have that sort of shelter away from sort of the wind with a couple of chairs, or if you are cooking, you haven't got sort of something built into the van, that's where this opens up really, really nicely. What you also see as well is that the doorway between the two sections um, obviously you can roll back, you've got nice big windows to get plenty of light in, into it and the same on this side. So you've got PVC windows to get that great sort of clarity, but there's also sort of curtains located as well to get the privacy where you want to and they sort of toggle up into place. There is a full frontal mesh door located here as well, so you can have that mesh in place and get the circulation into the actual awning itself uh, without having to sort of combat sort of having the bugs in there as well. So when it's sort of the dead end of night and you've got the light on, you're not attracting all the flies. With the air system, each beam's done individually, so you've got Vanger's kind of airspeed valve and a manual pump comes supplied with it as well. They've actually given you better pegs as well with the awnings to make it kind of that, again, that sort of next step up. And that's where you almost compare it to other brands around about the same price point. It comes out better value and higher spec, which is, you know, a great, great thing. As well as Vanger's kind of sort of two slash three year warranty, you generally find that probably it might have you know, more sort of aftercare to go with it. So that's why we do quite like it. Like so each beam's done individually, and then you've got a low level ventilation point beneath it. You've got gyros pulling it front and back, and that helps to give it a really nice amount of strength. Inside, which we'll go to in a second, you've got uh, Vango's TBS system. It's like a tension band that goes up to there to give it additional bracing if you feel you need it. Um, and a big thing for sort of going forward as well is the 2021 season. Now you can put in a bedroom in here as is a clips, and you can actually fit two winners in there to take four people in total. Admittedly be nothing else left for it, but the principle being that having a two berth in and in there means that now you can sleep someone outside the van, um, which again, you couldn't do with the previous year's model. The tunnel section is designed for sort of low van, so it fits anything from 180 to 210. Uh, and you've got sort of beading, you've got uh, a little guy which you can throw at the top, and also a sleeve for a pole and clamp kit. So you've got all the sort of attachment methods that you would hope and wish to find. There's also doors in the side bit as well, so it allows you to enter into the van without going through the awning every single time. Uh, and yet again, it almost creates almost like a almost like a wet dry area, the fact that you can sort of leave your shoes in there before going into a nice clean awning, whether you don't want to have it in the actual uh, you know, canopy of the cove, uh, or whether you want just the flexibility to do what you want it to. The attachment can be done sort of from on the side here, and there's a little webbing strap to take it up, so it means when you are on the lower end bracket, it does actually fit quite nicely. So that works really well, but let's pick the camera up and have a little bit more in-depth walk through it, uh, just to kind of get your bearings a bit more. So, like I said, really smart model. And that sort of, you know, a decent sized canopy depth there, you know, it's quite a compact unit and you can see actually 
you can probably just see the nose of the van from the back. So it, even at side fitting, it will actually face, you know, technically will probably have a bit more of you rather than onto your neighbour. Uh, and that's one of the benefits of these side fitting kind of models. You can see all the tunnel section there, you've got a good amount of size. And its depth away from the van isn't anything more than you would find with something like, you know, like a hex. But you've got more usable room because you're going to van along the van further. Inside, like I said, it feels nice and bright and airy inside of here. You've got the crystal clear windows with the curtains beneath it and obviously the mesh vent as well. Uh, there's additional clips that are located up in the roof up there as well. Like I said, take that additional bedroom. Um, but it's quite a nice area to sort of sit out and view the van. Your tunnel section is here as, as well. So when you've got a little sliding door, you come out of here. There's a bit of storage area down to the right, which is quite nice and neat. But like I say, you've got the accessibility of the doors either side. So it gives you the, the ability just to come out the sliding door, straight in and out the awning towards the front. But you can see, really nice and pitched. You've got a slight fold of fabric when you are on that lower end bracket. But it's because it's only about a 30 centimetre bracket between the two, it works really well. There's a low level step down there as well, so it toggles up and toggles down. So it means there's sort of a, a trip free access into the main body. And of course you've got your divisional door located by the beam. So you can get the privacy and leave it almost as a tent when you roll away. And you can see the TBS straps there, which are an optional thing you can put in. Um, if I'm being honest, probably about 95% of people don't really know they're there, let alone use them. So that works really well. But overall, it's been a really popular model just down to the, the size, the space and the price point of it. And now they've sort of actually, in theory, made it kind of a higher spec and you've still got the safe stability of the warranty and all the unique Vango features. I think it kind of just makes it even better value. All packs down into one small bag as well. So it means that you can, obviously with a small van, you don't want the bag to be too big. So it's a good sort of size, oversized as well, compression straps with the webbing. Uh, and your manual pump comes all in there as well. So that works really well. But by all means, let us know what you think. And if you have any more questions or queries, you can always check in the link below to our website. We've got more spec features on the actual product as well. Um, but that's kind of our video review of the Van Gogh Cove 2 for the 2021 season going forward.